new topic. So in this case, what we are going to have is uh, functions, returning functions basically. Okay. So So I can have function do process again and uh, this will be accepting two parameters just very similar to whatever the previous example I gave and uh, I'm going to have uh, very similar to whatever I did like you know function uh, display sum again. Uh, let me bring whatever the code I wrote or Let me get all this code. Okay, so we are pretty sure what is happening here, right? Okay, now I am going to have something a bit more different. Once I execute a display sum, okay, I am going to have one more called as return display difference. So this is going to be much interesting now. So we are saying that first of all display sum needs to be executed. But once it has completed the execution of display sum, I am saying that the function do process is going to return another function called display difference to the calling statement. So first of all whenever we say return display difference, this actually tries to execute it. So this one actually tries to execute display difference. Okay. And then return any value. If it is uh, returning anything. So there is one more statement called return display difference. Okay, now we can feel the difference, right? So here we have the parenthesis. So whenever we have the parenthesis, the function is going to be executed on the spot immediately. Okay, so whenever we say display difference with a parenthesis, it gets executed then and there itself. And if it is returning any value, that value is going to be returned outside due process. Okay, so in this case, in the second one, I am saying that there is no parenthesis. So whenever there is no parenthesis, directly the function itself will be returned without any execution. Okay, in simple, what we can say is, this is going to return the address of this function, I mean the memory address of that function. Okay, but in this case, it is going to execute the function and then return the value if it is going to return anything. In this case, it doesn't return anything. Okay, so this is going to have something like returning the function itself. Okay, so let us see how it is going to be executed. So now I would like to have an object or I say variable here a and I am going to call do process 10 comma 20. So now we are saying do process needs to be executed immediately. Why? Because I have the parenthesis here. So do process is going to be executed with these two values and those two values will be passed in here and finally I'm calling display sum. So for the first time we are going to get sum immediately. And once the sum has been alerted then it is going to return display difference. So which means this display difference is nothing but a function which is going to be assigned directly to A. Okay, now A is not an sing ordinary variable, it is going to be a function object. Okay, so I am going to have one more at, uh, alert, something like after returning. Okay, and then I am going to call one more, something like this, A. Okay, so now you can see I am using parenthesis here. So whenever I use a parenthesis, we can easily understand that this is going to be a function indirectly somehow. As it is directly having a link to 
that particular due process i mean not due process as it is having the direct link to display difference and as this display difference is having a link to a and b internally okay all this memory area will be directly available as part of a and now uh, i can simply say this one will be calling display difference directly so let us see how this is going in so i got the sum here so which means the first one which is the display sum got executed and now you can see it has executed after returning so which means the display difference is not yet executed okay and after this now you can see the difference is executed okay so that dis display difference is being stored to a and a is called as a function object okay so this is how we can have functions returning other functions